Gina. Look, y'all. This. Oh, Wiggins, look at this. Just look at scalp. Scalp Anisha. Like, I haven't had a wig that I love this much in a very long time. And this came pre bleached and pre plucked. I literally. Well, y'all about to see in a second. We, I'm going to show y'all how we got here. But just look at this. I'm giving Puerto Rican. Man, that's fine. This is from Wiggins. And this is a. Okay, the lashes they be giving me is a lot. I love their caps and I love the milk band. But this is an HD Lace 26 inch joint. Okay. Um, this is a 13 by 6, I want to say. I check the information. But that's how it came. Look at them knots. You can't even see them. And at first, I'm like, okay, you can see them a little bit. I'm, a, I'm not bleach. I was like, I'm not bleaching them. Leave them alone. So, boom. I always say, I wish we came. We had wigs that came with already bleach knots. They gave us that. Okay. So, this was shot at a different time. And you will notice, I'm going to go from looking like pale like this. Look at my arms and look at my face. And then I'm going to get really brown. But look at that. Back in the day, we could only dream of getting, you know how long it used to take to pluck our wigs just to get close to this? Are you kidding me? So, as you can see, I am casket sharp. I was trying a new foundation, and girl, I don't even want to tell you what it is because it was not hidden. But I'm like, okay, let's see where she's going to go with this, okay? Let's see what she's going to do. So, it does come with a band, which I appreciate these bands because these call for you not to put all that tension on your hairline because it hurts um but also it gives you a chance to actually just adjust it if you don't want to have to glue it down now gluing it down is optional but not when it look like this i'm not gonna not glue it down like girl this is this is necessary so let's see how we got here see at this point i was like yeah girl so like two weeks later, here we go. So as you can see, my chest and my face match. So what I did here was, and this is like the second time I tried this, but I'm gonna just say this off the rip. Do not try this with, if you hear anything, that's my damn fan on my computer. Um, don't do this with makeup on. That's where I kind of threw myself with this one. So put it on and then you see I got this comb on here. The tape is ghetto because this thing does not like to stay on. But I do like this better than using the comb and then the blow dryer. This just, look at that. Look at the Miltonation of it. So this makes it much easier. So you put the guys to be straight. I do not know where my um, bold hole liquid go because it would have been way better had I used that. I had a blunder here, but it just goes to show how good this wig is because even with this blunder, it came out flawless. Okay, woke up flawless messed up my hairline flawless so here i'm just going in and i did like maybe two or three rounds of the gossip be spray just to make sure that it was gonna stay down in all the directions my this hairline just happened to fit my hairline my real hairline much easier and and better sometimes they're just too rounded and i have the darts here on the side in real life so sometimes when i do the stocking cap method you'll see the actual cap when I try to put the wig on because this is big line going. So this one, you see that? It laid down like butter, baby. Okay. So once we got to this point, I was like, okay, she's going to be marvelous. And I had somewhere to go too. So I was like, mm hmm So she's on. And then I don't know where the footage of me cutting this, but it wasn't that hard. Look, found it. Don't mind me. I was eating some crybaby <laughs> candy. I found a Dollar Tree and it was so good. Like, do y'all remember Crybabies? My tongue is toe up now, but it was way dead. Okay, so I went in here. Literally just cut around the hairline, girl. You're not gonna, we're gonna be fine. All right, so here what I did was I put a little gossipy, I put it on there to lay this down. And this is when things got a little iffy, okay? So what happened was, because I used the Gossipy Spray versus my liquid bold hold, it's adhered to my hairline. It's hard to see here because it's sped up, but I'm just combing out the crunchiness of that spray so that it could flow and lay a lot better. But you see here, that's my makeup that came off. 
yeah girl she was looking boxy so what i did was i i sprayed my hairline with some fix plus just to get my makeup to loosen up so that i could at least try to blend it back down there you go that's the fix plus <laughs> So once I did that, it was looking a little bit better. But again, if you just do this with no makeup on, it's going to blend with no problems. You're not going to have this issue, okay? So be smart. Don't be me. Don't be dumb. So here is where after it was. You see, I fixed it. And all I did was the Fix Plus. I put a little foundation on it and we're good. So I don't like my hairline to look too straight because sometimes it just comes off like a, still a wig. It looks like you plucked it too much. So what I like to do is I like to pull this, these like not baby hair pieces but okay baby hair pieces i like to pull those and then i like to put a little heat on it and it's gonna lay these pairs forward and now i'm gonna take that and because when if you look at anybody here i always use people who has like the original kim kardashian a marie um people like that whose hairlines look like a nicole scherzinger is another person they usually have these very wispy hairs but they're not pasted down they're just usually wild hairs that lay in a direction because that's the direction that the hair lays in and it just makes your hair look a lot more natural don't jail i mean do what you want to do okay if you want to paste it down and put on your eyebrow girl go for it but i'm personally not a big fan of that look i've done it in the past because it was requested by the company but i'm not a fan of it but you see it just looks a little bit more natural it is it can be more tamed if you want it to be but at this point this is where we were okay and i'm like okay but you see it just looks natural when i throw my hair it just doesn't look like a pasted hat in the front and then there she go there she go so you could take these pieces right here and then you but you see how they lay down pretty like that and it just looks natural and it looks gorgeous and magnificent tint tint so i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you like this sledge let me know what look i'm giving to you in this one because see i'm still i'm feeling puerto rican because of the curl pattern and baby she is bounce delicious so check the links below i'm gonna catch y'all in my next one but let me know how you like this one because i'm gonna tell y'all this works for every complexion and every freaking hairline and it comes like this straight out the back sis i got you Shout out to Wiggins here. I'm going to catch y'all in my next one. Bye. How fast can you get to me? Can you take the change? You know what I'm saying? Get to me.